Hello, and welcome back to an episode of RL Craft. This is part 23. Last time, we made some huge progress, or at least we made the starts to huge progress. You remember, we built this new section onto the base. This is our first automated farms. We got sugarcane, we got pumpkins, we got melons. None of it is technically fully functional yet, because it doesn't really have anything like until spring. But don't worry about that, it's fine. Now, the problem I had last episode, and one of the main reasons why I stopped, is I ran out of iron. No longer is that a problem, as we now have half a stack of iron blocks. If I run out of iron in this episode again, uh, I'm, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so I guess step one for this episode, actually I guess I do need glass as well. Ooh, or do I want to make these doors? That could be cool too. I guess I do currently only have two entrances to the... that was horrible. I only have two entrances to my base, and this would actually be a pretty convenient place to enter. Okay, yeah, so this one's going to be turned into a door. That one, I think, will just be a window for now. So I guess what I want to go ahead and do is I want to get resources together. I need to grab more stone. I need to get resources together to build the main farm, because while the pumpkin farm and all that are pretty cool, those are not the main reason why I built that huge structure. So this is the farm that goes over here, so let's see, how do I need to build this? I guess I could build this in the same way that I built everything else, so I guess the same dimensions. Which means this is probably going to be way oversized for what the actual building is, but that's okay. Finally gotta clear out this mountain. That'll be fun. This is not the first mountain I've destroyed with this building. I mean, I didn't destroy the rest of the other one, but... Destroyed a good chunk of it. Wow, this thing barely had enough durability to do that. And there we... Go. Nope, nope, of course I messed up the last block. There we go! Shell complete. So I guess first let's find kind of the cent- well, no, let's build it centralized here, but this way it doesn't really need to be, so how do I want to do this? I guess let's start by building it up. I just realized I may not actually remember how to build this farm. Probably should have thought of that. If I remember this correctly, note block goes in the middle, you do that, put that there. What do I do from there, though? That's the point where my memory is a little fuzzy. Wait, I think I remember. So we have that there, that there, put that there. Then I need to build this out, I think. Uh, actually, I think that goes... A, uh, does that go farther? I'm gonna say no, actually. Let's say it does not go farther. So then I put that there, put some amount of delay on it. I don't remember. Put that there. Does that activate it? It does! Yay! Maybe not for long enough. I should probably put a longer delay on that. I don't know, I'll have to mess with that. So then from there, uh, I need to pull that there. That needs to be a certain kind of block, which I'll mess with in a minute. And I need to put this here. Uh, this will be a certain kind of block. Build this out. That should be the back of it, I believe. So we take the water, we put that there. I am missing a key factor of this, hold on. So, is this gonna work? So if I do that, there's a point in between. I can't really tell if I'm selecting the string or not. But there's a point, like, right in between the string. Okay, so if I were to do this, what happens? I'm not entirely sure how long this takes. I really should put a block on top of that note block, or this is going to be really annoying. Okay, so it's got the wrong delay, but did I get the fish, or did it go into the thing? The idea is that it goes into a hopper beneath the water, which it did. I got an apple? Sure, why not? But I'm not sure if it has too much of a delay, or if it has not enough delay. I guess let's just keep trying it with different delays, see what works. Hey, there we go. And as you can see, well actually I'll get one more fish. Beautiful. As you can see, this is getting me free experience. 
So I guess, oh, that was the wrong button. I guess the shortest possible delay was actually the best option. So now I think what I'm going to do is, well first I'm going to sleep, then I need to kind of cover that up because this is an AFK farm, it's a farm that you just kind of sit at, and I don't really fancy getting killed, and also I don't trust that things won't just spawn elsewhere on my base. So I should probably make this like its own separate casing. And once I've got this all cased in, I guess all I really need to do is build a collection zone. Which, actually, I do have this huge area down here. That's kind of perfect. Then I can just use the rest of this room for, like, extra storage. I wish there were a way that I could just delete all Frankfurts from the world. Anytime I see Frankfurt, it typically means that things are going to go very wrong very soon. I don't like that. Alrighty, this is going to be quite a more... Yep, that's what I was trying to say. This is going to be quite a bit more iron heavy than I expected. I already expected to use a lot of iron on this area. That's why I got 32 half... 32 half blocks, I have a stack of blocks, but I, even to make this start being functional, need nine more iron blocks, or sorry, nine more hoppers. If I want to make it totally functional, how many do I need? 29 hoppers! Oh no! <laughs> this idea better be as profitable as I think it'll be. You know, the thing is, I don't even know that it will, because I didn't actually test the main, like, I mean, the experience obviously I will get, but I didn't actually test the main thing for this, so I very well might not get anything that I actually wanted. I'm just gonna have to hope for the best, I guess. Okay, here goes all of my iron. Oh, I was one hopper short, really? What? What? But... Huh? Okay, apparently I wasn't short a hopper. Not gonna question it, just keep on going. So I only need 40 more chests. <laughs> that sounds like a lot, but it's not actually too terribly bad. Then I should have everything together. Oh, something I didn't even think about. I've got plenty of wood, but it takes iron to make trapped chests, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I was just about to make half of these chests into a tripwire hook chests, whether they're called trapped chests. I should probably make sure that I actually have the right number before I make them all into those. So it's eight chests per layer, so let's just make eight chests at a time. Put those there, take those, okay. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I was holding the wrong chests in my hand, that's probably the problem. So then I put those there, then I make eight more, and I'm short on tripwire hooks. Yay! Can't tell you how many times I counted that to make sure I didn't use too much iron. Still counted wrong. But it doesn't matter, because there we go. Every single one of these, and let me make sure they're actually connecting up. Beautiful! So that gives me 24 double chests worth of space for auto farming. Wonderful, if that's not enough. I... I'm worried. And then if I need to, I'll put to like storage over here for certain items that I want to keep. Actually, I have yet to put torches over here, that would probably be a good idea. So before I put the roof on, let's give this test. I step on the pressure pad, door closes, the roof isn't there, but that'll be fixed very soon. I aim carefully at that pixel, hold down, right click, wait a while, I get a fish, and it rethrows perfectly. And then I get as much experience as I want. Awesome! I'm not going to keep holding right click right now because I'm going to farm that later off camera. And then if I go check down here, whatever I got should either be- nope, it actually should be in this chest. Yes, I got a box. Now I believe these boxes and things, also the messages in a bottle, I believe those are like loot chests. So I'm actually going to take this out and test. My theory, I, again, did not actually try this even once, so I don't actually know that this is true. These might spawn, like, monsters or something, so I'm gonna stand out here. I don't know what I got, but I'm assuming I got something. Actually, I do have a few more of them over here that I got from regular fishing. 
There's also higher rank ones that I want to check in the future. Well, actually, I'll probably just check those in a second. So let's check the boxes. Uh, what I get? I don't know. Oh, there's stuff dropping on the ground. I'm stupid. Okay. So I got some charcoal. I got a stick. Beautiful. Uh, some spruce wood. A jungle sapling. That's kind of cool. Let's see what the treasure chest and lockbox will give me. So first the lockbox. It gave me some lapis. Cool. Then the treasure chest. It gave me a diamond! Okay, yeah, this is definitely profitable. Then I also have a Halloween trick-or-treat that's unrelated. I'm not gonna touch that. Because last I checked, those things spawn horrible monsters. So message in a bottle. What is that? Ever since I came ashore, things haven't been the same because the moment I stepped in, I totally lost the game. Oh, it's just like a little thing. So, uh, property of Creeper Cola. This, or the message magically fades from your hand. Enlarge your fishing rod for only 1995 gold, guaranteed. Well, cool. I have guaranteed that this whole thing isn't just a waste of time. It was starting to feel like it was, but it's not. It's actually worth it. So now that we have this whole fish farm set up and finished, I guess it's time to get the rest of this place looking all nice. Because I don't think I'm going to be building a fancy storage system for this yet. I think I'm just going to turn these all into double chests and then maybe have like a ladder leading down into this area. Which probably does mean I'm going to need some torches down in there. I'll do that. And actually, no, I already have torches in there. Never mind. Don't listen to me. But yeah, I just need to put the floor in, do some other little things, and then I think this area should be done. Oh, right. Still need to build a staircase here. <gasps> Melons! We have melons! Okay, uh, I'm gonna harvest those. Oh wait, no, I shouldn't do that. That's a bad idea. I need an axe. There we go. I'm gonna harvest these manually. I know I should wait, but I really want to get new stuff planted. So I guess I'll just have to eventually turn this on and wait and see if I actually collect anything. Are the pumpkins growing? Not yet. I don't think that it's their season just yet. Go away, dragonfly. I just realized a little bit of a hiccup in my plans. I need to move this down, because the floor is going to be right here. It's only going to be the top layer, but I need to move this whole section down, and hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. Alright, still traveling good. Still traveling beautiful. Alright. Oh, did it fire? It fired! Okay, I need to... I just realized my activation switch is in a terrible place, so if I let that go... Uh, let it go for just a single round. Let's see, does it give me melons? We got melons, and we got melons! Okay, so if I were to put that there, then I change that to do that, then I do that. There we go. We now have a new activation switch. I've discovered something that makes me sad. The copper, the copper, the hopper minecart still gets stuck on that corner when we have a block there. I guess it counts as a full block when you consider it as a, like, minecart. So, we have to have, like, a little speed bump. Ah, uh, that looks so bad, though. Oh well, can't be bothered to fix it. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even realize, not only have I yet to put in the sugar cane at all, I haven't put in any of the glass. I need to do that. I need to get sand first, though, because thinking about it, I don't even have any sand. Let's go ahead and... what is the button? There we go. Go to pets, go to mounts, go to rock, summon. Let's go to the desert. Uh, uh, there we go. And there we have it. This place is looking beautiful. And if you ignore the fact that I have yet to build this staircase, which I'm going to do that in just a minute, and the fact that the pumpkin farm is still far from being filled in, this place is totally finished. Actually, yeah, this is really bothering me. I'm going to do this real quick. Actually, I don't think I'm going to put a thing here. I think I'm going to put a ladder instead. Any reason? No. I just think it'll look cool. <laughs> Boop. There we go. So how does that look? That looks... moderately decent. Perfect. And with that little addition, I believe that is going to be all for the- Oh, I'm getting trapped indoors. That's going to be all for this time. I hope you enjoyed. Let's see if this actually picks everything up. Oh, it does. Beautiful. And then if I were to do this, 
I don't hear anything rolling, probably because everything has stuff in it. If I go over here, I do hear stuff rolling, beautiful. And then sugarcane, it's not even in season. So, perfect. Everything seems to be functioning, everything seems to be happy. I think that's going to be all for this time, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, well, we're probably going to go through all those lock boxes and things, or maybe I'll do that off camera, I don't know. We'll have to see, but I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.